Evening. Four o'clock is the time, and our schedule is to begin at four as we anticipate our other conferees to come and join us. The four o'clock hour perhaps is a difficult hour for people to make their way uh, to what will be, we think, a swelling crowd of people who are interested in this, who we believe conference, the Afro-American Lectionary uh, Pulpit Project. My name is Forrest Elliot Harris Sr. And I give my full credentials today in terms of my name because there is a Forrest Elliot Harris Jr. And as of yesterday, there is a Forrest Elliot Harris III. And uh, I am most uh, proud uh, grandparent uh, now four times, and now uh, the legacy of the name uh, Forrest Elliot Harris lives on in our new newborn. I direct the Black Church Studies program, uh, the Keller Mills Smith Institute on the Black Church at Vanderbilt Divinity School. Uh, the name Kelly Miller Smith registers in the legacy of the Divinity School because he was dean for black church relations for over a decade, a pastor, scholar, preacher, leader of civil rights, and a comrade of Dr. King in the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and built a strong witness for prophetic ministry here in Nashville and around the country. And the name Kelly Middle Smith uh, was attached to the institute that I've directed for these now 23 years. And I wanted to give you that sense of what it means to have this institute, Kelly Middle Smith Institute on Black Church Studies. And I'm proud to also to have as a collaborating partner with this Who We Believe conference, the African American Lectionary Pulpit uh, that has over the last three years developed the first online African American Lectionary uh, for African American church experience. Uh, our collaborative partner is on her way, uh, Martha Simmons, and she will be greeted when she comes. But we have been proud to see the production and the result of this online lectionary that has had uh, millions of, of important hits in terms of the internet and use around the country and around the world. Uh, this uh, theological resource for black church lived experience as it relates to the black preaching tradition is now a part of a global community, a virtual community where people have access to it uh, for their development and their resource in terms of worship traditions. And we are proud of the product and that we now see it as a preservation of an important part of the African American lived experience. And we welcome you to this conference. Uh, we welcome you from across the country and others who will be joining us as the day and, and the weekend proceeds. Uh, the Dean of the Vanderbilt Divinity School, James Hutnut Bormler, is here, who in the initiation of this collaborative partnership between uh, the Vanderbilt Divinity School, Keller Mills Smith Institute, and Hope for International, which is the owner of the African American Pulpit, readily saw uh, the need for us as a divinity school to bridge the church and the academy and what we do in Black Church Studies program at the Keller Middle Smith Institute with this project and sought to give it its energy from the administrative position of the dean and our resource uh, from the Lilly Endowment in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm glad that he's here to give uh, opening greetings uh, and welcome to you uh, as we get started. Dean Hutnut Blom, will you come? Let's give him a hand as he comes.
Forrest, it is my pleasure uh, to, to welcome those assembled on behalf of uh, Vanderbilt Divinity School, uh, one of the institutional homes and uh, the fiduciary for the uh, African American Lectionary Project. It has been uh, a pleasure to uh, go on each month and, and click through and see things that I, uh, uh, I hadn't thought to uh, associate uh, with the particular weeks uh, and, and themes for, for the lectionary, uh, which shows that this was not uh, a customary, easy, or a customary, easy, or um, a likely thing, but through the, uh, through the vision of Martha and Hope for Life, uh, and through our institutional partner of uh, Lilly Endowment, uh, and Forrest's uh, strong energy as director of the Kelly Miller Smith Institute uh, and, and, and a uh, floating assortment of uh, faculty and virtual faculty, we've been able to put together something that I hope will uh, live on for a number of years to come. Already we know by, uh, on the basis of clicks uh, that it uh, is hitting more clicks than anything else we're mounting at Vanderbilt University, except for the uh, revised common uh, lectionary. Uh, and that has been going many, many more years. So uh, this, is, this is quite a uh, success in terms of an offering on behalf of the Divinity School and its partners back to the church. Uh, we think that Kelly Miller Smith uh, would be pleased to see his legacy attached to this project. Mm -hmm. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dean Hannah Bormler. And another collaborative partner, along with Vanderbilt Divinity School's Kelly Mill Smith Institute, as well as Hope for International Life and the African American Pulpit Journal, has been American Baptist College. I have been fortunate to be president of that college over the last decade and dual roles as it relates to the presidency of the college and director of the institute has birthed these kind of projects and we are pleased to have American Baptist College represented in this, uh, in this project. Uh, members of the uh, uh, faculty of American Baptist College are here and many of our students will will join this uh, enterprise. Uh, as we move forward uh, in today's opening session, our uh, guest uh, lecturer, speaker, is uh, on his way. We wanted to get started to help you appreciate what a significant theological, cultural resource this Afro-American lectionary uh, pulpit product is. And it will serve to, as I said before, preserve an important resource in the black preaching tradition as it relates to what has been a prophetic and a powerful uh, contribution to what it means to be both black and Christian, but what it means to be black and Christian in a nation that called for the kind of prophetic witness that this black preaching tradition represents. So we are, are pleased and, 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 and thankful for your presence and as we uh, continue to know about uh, this uh, product. We are looking forward to your interaction during the course of this week. We have uh, our evaluator for uh, this project here with us, uh, Reverend David Nelson. Will you stand so we could see who you are and they will know who you are. Uh, and if he snoops around during the course of this uh, meeting, you know that he's doing so to evaluate and get a sense of what uh, this uh, project means. I see that our guest, I think, has arrived. I want to ask Tim, Reverend Seco, will you come closer uh, to us so that we can appropriately get you to the podium? Um, it is always a pleasure of mine to be a part of these because you get to be able to interact with scholars and preachers and cultural critics across the country and scholars. I want to recognize before I introduce our guest uh, the Reverend J. Afford Smith, who is here from uh, Oakland, California, one of our honorees. Uh, 
will, 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 will be sharing with us later, but he has been a, a prophetic giant and a pulpit uh, genius in terms of the preaching tradition that we now see online and was one of the contributors to the African American Lectionary uh, pulpit. Also, there are members of the uh, creation team that provided the resources for the online lectionary. Some of them are here uh, now. Uh, the Reverend uh, Floyd, uh, Floyd uh, Thomas and Stacy Floyd Thomas, who are members of the creation team. Other members of the creation team that are here now, you'll be introduced later. But these are the persons who provided the resources and the moments on the lectionary, and I want them to stand just to recognize them if they're here now. Just one and Stacy are here now. We began um, this Who We Believe uh, conference with a black cultural critic, a documentary filmmaker, a public intellectual and theologian, author, pastor, the Reverend Seiko. I can't get all of the syllables of his name in my mouth to come out and flow at one time, so I wish just to share his last name. Because of his broad intellectual and cultural interests regarding the intersections of religion, race, and culture, Reverend Seiko brings a depth of analysis to this conference, Dialogue on Culture, Worship, and Preaching. He authored the critically acclaimed Urban Souls, which tells a, uh, has a refreshing approach to the spiritual crisis in America, hip hop culture, religion, homophobia, sexism, race, and politics. And he brings to that intellectual criticism and cultural criticism a profound organic, organic insight into the problems and crises that are facing not only black culture, but black youth across the country. Reverend Seiko has given over 1,000 lectures throughout the country as well as abroad, including many Ivy League universities and universities in Europe. In response to the catastrophic crises of Hurricane Katrina, he moved to New Orleans for six months and founded the Interfaith Workers Justice Center for New Orleans. He also has been a part of clergy and laity concern about the war in Iraq. And through that effort and collaboration, bring together 300 faith-based institutions and organizations around the country working to end the war and occupation in Iraq. He has served on platform committees for the National Political Hip Hop Convention. He has served as senior advisor for uh, the president's 2004 campaign. Reverend Seiko directed a community center in the notorious Cochrane Housing Project in St. Louis, Missouri. He has served as a professor of preaching at the Seminary Consortium of Urban Pastoral Education the Graduate Union Urban Studies Program in Chicago. He has a profound resume of involvement, a profound involvement in the participation of black church culture as well as 